Hey guys, Diamond Crafty here, and today I have a really efficient design for a mob farm in Minecraft. I AFK'd on there for about three hours when there were no mobs in it when I left, and it causes this glitchiness at the end, but yeah, one second. Let's go see what we get. Wait, I'll, turn, I'll put all this stuff away first. Um, we only need our hand because it... I hope you, as you most likely know, in a mob farm, it's usually a one to two hit punch. And let's see how much XP we get. Okay, twenty-two levels of twenty-two levels of XP now. And they're still flowing in. Um, not that many mob drops, but whatever. <laughs> wow, that really wasn't that many. Okay, yeah, that's weird. We could have tried to get music discs if we wanted. Let's see some gunpowder. And I'll be right there until I load up the new world for tutorials. There. Okay, guys, I'm back, and um, I was just regularly doing it. <laughs> what am I doing? Let's see. Wait. Oh, and I create a new world called Tutorials, and it's a super flat world, and I'm doing this on easy, so I could um just make it quick. So, first off, let's get some stone bricks. Um, that's what I'm going to use. You can use any block. I just, I just wouldn't recommend glowstone or redstone lamps. It takes no redstone at all. Just, it takes lots of blocks. <laughs> um, eight water buckets and a stack of trap doors. So, 64. So, what do you do? Oh, yeah, and four slabs. I'm going to use the them. So what you do is you make two by two platform slabs, then you build around it. So just build a nice little ring around it. And if you're doing this in creative, a good thing to build it faster is get a potion of swiftness too. Drink it. Okay, good. Now count twenty blocks of there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. <laughs> I accidentally skipped 16. Wait. <sighs> the heck? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. And now just drag it all the way down. And just keep doing this until you completely surround the um, little area. Since I'm not going to skip this part because it won't take too long because I'm a creative. And yeah. So it's pretty efficient. Like if, if you're looking for XP that is because pretty good XP. Just like AFK for a few hours, come back, you get a lot of XP. Note this might work better in the PC edition because I'm pretty sure there's only a certain limit that mobs can spawn at. So, there's only probably a certain, I think there's like, yeah, there's a certain amount of, um, there's a certain amount of mobs that you can spawn then. So, after that, wait. So put blocks on the corners like this. Okay. One, two, then count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it should be eight long. So, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three, four.
four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, take this and just drag it out. And keep dragging it out. And if any time, at any time, you can um, just skip or pause it if you need to and rewind. Now just pretty much outline it. Just build these little things to um, outline it like this. Um, yeah. So it should look like this. And you'll have a nice little pipe with this. Um, then just build it up one there. Oops. Just build it one more. So it should be two blocks high like this. So next, you can put your water first in if you want. I'm just going to do the trapdoors first. So what you do is you take your trapdoors, just place them all along the edges. So there's going to be 16 per um, one of these. So eight on each side, and it will be open. Just open them. Oops. Ah. Okay. Do that, and then the same on the other side. Just keep doing this, and we are about done with the trap doors. So overall, this will take 64 trap doors. But no, you will need a lot of blocks for this. I would most likely use cobblestone. That's what I made my other one out of. Okay, so we are done with that, and. Then just put water bucket, water bucket. And uh, one thing you could do, if you wanted an infinite water source, you could take two buckets and then like take a bucket here, put them in each corner, but I'm not gonna do that since I'm creative. And then one, two. And one, two. And now the trap doors are for because mobs are kind of stupid and they find open trap doors with full blocks and go doing and they can't get out. They're just like no 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 ah Ugh. and they take tons of damage almost sometimes it even kills them actually. So then what you're gonna do is outline this entire structure like build out one though. So and just drag it across. Now from here go one two three one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn one. Now just drag it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn. And you'll end up with it. And then you'll end up with this giant square. Now just fill in the square with whatever building material you choose. Just make sure this is not any blocks that emit light at all. Um, I would recommend using like cobblestone or stone or stone bricks. And so just keep doing this. And I'll be back until I f in when I finish um filling in these squares. Be right back. Okay guys, I am back and I have finished filling in these, and then after that, what you're going to do, so you have it two blocks back, what you're going to do, just go to any random location, and build a giant ring around the base of this, and as you might already know, these will be your spawning pads, and they can spawn right here, and just go into here for a little extra bob spawn rate, um, and then just drag this blocks around like that and then build it up three high so yeah just make it three high it wouldn't be that long um and for making the survival which i did on that other world um 
why not? Because <laughs> it it's resource friendly, I guess, if you're gonna use cobblestone. Because I mean, cobblestone like has is like really easy to find. So, but you might also want to get a lot of torches, and I'll show you why afterwards. So we're just about to finish up this, and we do this, and then just layer this entire stone all the way over the roof. This will not work for Endermen, that's why I'm making her only too high. And um because Endermen they just will um not they would just spawn up there and if they fell down there they would touch water, you know, and as you might know, um they teleport with water when they touch water, so be right back again until I finish covering this. Okay guys, I'm back and this is your finished structure. But the thing is, yeah, there might not be a lot of mobs spawning yet because I'll show you. So here, be right back. I will um, light up the area around it and then I'll show you what it would be like. Okay guys, I'm back and I pretty much just spammed torches everywhere. The reason is, one second. Here we go. Let's just kill off these guys and already in here. And kill all the mobs that are in the torched area. Oof. So, um, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, and when I killed a zombie earlier, I got an iron sword. <laughs> when I was killing the zombies that were in here. So, wait, eh, that happens sometimes, be wary of that. Um, and I see a spider climbing up the walls. Huh. Oh yeah, and you wanna light up this area. Just on the top, you don't really need to light up the sides. Sometimes I just like to put some torches around. There we go. And yeah. Now well, let's just kill off these guys up here. We can sleep in a bed and it's really efficient actually in daytime. Oh, okay. Mm. The more radius that there's no mobs, the more mob spawns we'll get. So that's pretty much how it goes. We got a skeleton and a creeper, so why not do this? One second. Darn it. One second. I should splash myself with a weakness potion. Weakness. There we go. There we go. So I got weakness. Wait. Okay, there we go. Now, next time. Oh. Here, I'll be back until the next skeleton falls down. Okay, guys, I am back. And I've only been here for maybe a minute or two. And as you can see, it already works. <laughs> so what you, I'm going to do is I'm going to try to provoke a skeleton. Hey, hey, get back here. Hey. Oh, okay. So pretty much what we need to do, you just stand here, so, oh my gosh, here, what the wow, wow, one second, Oosh. There we go, is there any skeletons left in there, I see a lot of creepers, I don't see any skeletons, but boom, yeah, so, Pretty much we can just spam potions, we get, ah, there's a skeleton, so this should be easy. Here, we can um, turn it to survival. Okay, guys, I'm back, and watch. Oh, wait, but let's see. Um, we got this, we got a music disc, boom. You just stand here, boom, get a music disc. Stand here, boom. It, she shouted, or he, whatever. Boom. We can do this. St 
do the little slimes and boom. Well, oh no! Well, past my limit in 15 minutes. Um, I, well guys, I'm Diamond Crafting it and I'll see you guys later. Bye.